a rising star with some serious firepower to be as good as a boxer. 15 and 0, 11 knockouts. We'll see how he can do, especially against a big punch. Introducing to you first on my left, his record stands at 24 wins, four losses. Introducing Claudio Marrero. 11 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Martinez. Let's have a nice clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. And the bell goes right. And Carlos Zambrano. Lara was 29-0-1. Zambrano. Tinez lands nearly nine jabs around. So, Marrero. And of course, Southpaws are notorious for their ability to blunt the jab. He's going to stay committed to that punch. And Martinez has oh. faced two. One half of the greatest fight in Showtime boxing history again. Extraordinary evening on every level. And you know, we, you, oh, sorry, go ahead. Martinez. We've seen uh, stepping on each other already. Yes. The one that caused those two knockdowns, so we'll see. Oh, there's a Figure this all out. Because he could walk into a left hand from Marrero. And another interesting thing that Martinez is doing, and he's walking to his right. Making his debut at 1.30 at the Time. end of round one. Is that in round one? Don't fine, rush in because you'll get hit with that fine. counter left. He's got to get past these yeah. early rounds when Martinez is extremely dangerous. This is round number two in front of his dreams. And he was ah. away from tonight in San Antonio, Texas, Alamo Dome. Clayton, so big matchup at 147 as Martinez. Uh, before this fight. And yeah, if you're going to have a COVID long. Uh, one, two, three different combinations. And, and so fast, Martinez. Marrero being forced on his. Wait, it doesn't seem like he's been hurt by Martinez taking the punch really well. Uh, Martinez doesn't waste punches. Marrero starts to come forward, flashes the jab. Marrero has been beaten four times. But Junior, the uh, son of the great cruiserweight champion, is continue to warm up here in this time. Second fight of the night. Here he is, ready to throw combinations, and he works the body and dump. Relax. Relax. Martinez under the uh, bright lights here. Offensively, any round in the first five Keep in which Marrero team in Mexico, his first passion was football. Was, uh, Marrero looking to make life a bit more difficult here. Marrero, Martinez says he likes to counter the counter and just be a great. But uh, and Marrero is really oh, wow. getting it going up. I think again, that speaks to the uh, confidence and the uh, composure. He was uh, dropped with a nasty hook to the jaw to end round seven again. Could, and of course, this would be a significant win for him if he got it. Marrero, like you mentioned now, done what he did at 126, wants to. Uh, Martinez tapped him with two vicious right hands. In a new weight class, and they feel like he's been more disciplined. Shelf power and poise under pressure. And uh, he's showing a great chin though. He's he, yeah. I mean, from a guy that's moving up on weight. Fainting. You have to fight in the middle of the ring, please. In the middle of the ring. Oh, only with water, only with water behind the leg. Just a little massage. That nice short left hook. This is the hook that getting in the kind of right hook. We have reached round number four, scheduled for 12, with a record of 24 and 4, 17 <laughs> knockouts, and and has Marrero brought his power up to this weight class? That <laughs> sequence right there that Martinez landed, uh, Marrero had him. Yeah, trying to use the jab as a range finder, leads with the right and again. Marrero, because of the quick early start and some of the things he did. When M Martinez let his hands go, Marrero will, will catch him. See, so Marrero, he's the experienced fighter. He's going to put have Martinez in trouble. Showing some. Uh, Real good hand speed. Yeah, and, that, and how, why he was doing that was because he was touching with that left. That's a nice combination punching from Martinez. But you wow. notice. But I like what Martinez is doing. I, I Marrero with the lead left and the target. Marrero was already proven. He can take a shot. Let's pump out the jab. Lance. But Martinez so far doing a really, really a fantastic job. Conclude four rounds. Time. And the 22-year-old, Xavier Martinez, is looking to make his name. They're the contender that the prospect wants to make his name against. That's the case. Tonight. It's a great series. You know, Marrero has not always been the most dedicated in training. A nice left hands to the midsection by Marrero. Marrero comes forward momentarily. Lands a 1-2.
Martinez in his, on his back foot that, that he does damage he, on the side of my coach telling me, but not physically seeing it. They're both getting at back. How does he respond to it? Well, this is how Martinez responds, trying to fight his way off the ropes. Lands a punch there, including the don't look at film of their opponents, and that I, I never understand that. They get more chances in this round, which could be a problem for him, but getting Martinez in the later rounds where he oh. can go to work. Like I said, why would any fighter want to watch <laughs> video? <tape? laughs> oh, there's a knife, but he has absorbed Martinez power shots. Time. He's landing, he's throwing his combinations. And, uh, and he's going to throw in an uppercut here in a second or two, too. Martinez and corner, Ray right? Woods have please, uh, please. such a, a one, you know, a number of trainers oh, over the last few years. Martinez attacking the body, then goes upstairs. There's a combination. Oh, clubbing, right. He's really taking his time, really being smart in there, picking his punches. He set two toward an early pace early. Uh, he wouldn't be get there. Father and son. And he said, Keep that makes me want to. Moreau takes some shots, and there is some swelling under his right eye. Martinez, you know, putting him in the position where he is learning. Pacing himself, too. He's never been past eight rounds, Martinez. Through here, even though he's taking some punishment, he's not being beaten up. Yeah, he's been very methodical, and now he's been Martinez working the body at the ropes, and then a short comes forward, high guard, forward straight left to the sternum of Martinez. Martinez again closer to a spot where he might be able to test. 12 round, 130 pound fight. You have the experience, come on, keep hitting him low. Keep hitting him, that bot. Round at number seven. You know, Marrero is shaking his left. Marrero attacking the body with the left hand. Punching. And one of the reasons Martinez might have an edge up to this point right there. <laughs> Guess he answered my question, huh? And going backward, it's a pretty close fight. It's going to be decided in the second half. Marrero trying to... <laughs> oh, I think this is a pretty close fight. I have Martinez ahead 58-56. Because he thinks that's when he can shine in this fight. We'll find out. Yeah, in the game of by Marrero that you mentioned, you know, him dancing. Uh, <laughs> sure. It's not the electric slide. <laughs> Nothing too dramatic, but... A little redness around the right eye of uh, Martinez. Marrero trying to pick off Martinez. See, that's it, the counter punch. That's what we need to work. This is round eight. He's never passed 12 rounds. Start fighting. Do the fake and then come in. So Al, they feel that this fight is going uh, according to... Now it's Marrero coming forward, still... Who? trained him for this thing. Oh, oh my! Martinez's career, he gets knocked down and it was... This round, a lot of time left to go. And on cue, Marrero beginning to come back but being marked up and tattooed by Claudio Hook. That drop Martinez and Marrero drops him up his career in what has been a catastrophic eighth round that Martinez had been the epitome of composure. But now... He runs back and, you know, that's when he caught Martinez with that hook. There is a mouse underneath the left eye. Done well in round eight. You well, know. he said that Martinez had never been pat over Lee committing yeah. to stopping the fight. Round. Yeah, and I was just going to mention when the first round, when I started. So oh. Martinez trying now to survive. A lot of grit and determination to stay upright for the rest of this. Try to get back into it in round number nine. And it would come courtesy of a beautiful right hook. Moreau's not doing Time in. Quick inspection allows this fight to Order. continue. He was really comfortable at this weight class. He definitely is showing that right pound affair between the undefeated Xavier Mart. And he took care of all of that. And, and today is the very first fight. 10-7 round, clearly for Marrero. I have it 75, 70. Remain in the pocket, remain standing again. To walk to his left. Uh, again, we mentioned that he has been walking. It's a stable round where, you know, it's a cl very close round. And it's Test and Steve Farhood, uh, it's proven to be the case. Let's up. Uh, the bad news is Marrero is beginning to find his target the last round, but Al trying to bounce back, and so far, so good here in the night. Power punches, uh, last round, you can see. Uh... Lead right hand, actually. Mar Martinez. Trying to bounce back. 
time. All you do is stay focused. Don't uh -huh. let him. Don't let him fight. Okay. Move yeah. your head. Up. But we're good. We're good in this fight. Keep working. Do keep working. Claudio Marrero keeps talking about his legs. Dance, bro. But he's using his, his foot really well. Look yeah, at that. He's doing. He's talking about his legs in the corner. I, I didn't quite hear that. Uh, Marrero, you, you doing it really well against Martinez. It's not. He's got a good jab. It doesn't land all the time. Faints as much as Marrero, you gotta faint back to have him thinking too. Of blows by Marrero. And here in round. And again, Marrero showcasing his. The end swell may become the. The last one he might have given away, but you know, he's gotta get the job. Actually, the right eye of Marrero and the. The 10th. Well, Marrero has some swelling around his right eye, as Mauro alluded. Martinez has uh, Guerrero missed with that straight left. A, a jab would land exactly on that eye. When you look at Showstat, Claudio Morello right now, step you want to step on the gas if round, but you know, you you better get after it. Competitive affair here, round number 11, scheduled for 12. Times and 10 rounds as well. Uh, so he's, or there's a scoring of Steve Farhood, excuse me. And you see Steve's a, a known prospect, somebody that people think is a... Marrero has a Watch lot more experience uh, at 10 rounds and, and one and two at 12 rounds. Find his yes. tempo and his rhythm again a little bit, Abner, going yes. back to that double left position where he can throw it. And the way to do that is jab your way in together. Marrero and Martinez have come. He's got his eyes, his eye almost shut. So, you know, keep working that jab for Marrero to come in. He catches him with the one, two, let's see. Oh, total punches landed, but again, a competitive affair combined to throw over 1,000 punches. We have just over three minutes left. Fight is very close, okay? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So this round, you got to really throw. Open up. He's he probably going to come out and try to chase him. I don't, yeah. How important this 12th here, and final Jeff. round. Time in. So here we are, 12th and um, regret the fact that he had two full minutes. Official scorecard holder, Steve Farhood. Yeah, and the question, and look to establish some kind of dominance. Adversity, he went down, um, he was almost out. I don't know why Martinez keeps fighting him to his right. He's, he's got to turn him. Right. And in fact, Martinez has bounced back uh, pretty impressively. Especially they were bo all three, I thought, pretty close rounds. And he's on being down twice uh, for the first two times in his career. And he's going to go back and, and see this fight and, and also learn that good and didn't win. So it's incumbent upon him right now. Four pounds north as he did drop Martinez twice, but much as a fight, will it be a case of one he let get away? We're about. And for Marrero in what is supposed to be a restart for his. Yeah, Marrero playing the matador when he should be to find out what the judges thought about this fight. He went down, he overcame adversity, showed a lot of heart. Martinez in the early rounds doing some excellent work getting Marrero against a Martinez, but even with two minutes left in the round, he getting some good moments on the inside. And then, it, while Marrero was confident he would own those last, and yes, he still landed the occasional Knight's left hand, but you see uh, overall Marrero with the edge. But he rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision here, are the score totals. Xavier Martinez! Claudio Marrero's 130-pound debut.